at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy Happy Monday. Welcome back to our channel. I'm so excited to have you all here. Today we are doing the most requested morning routine slash get ready with me, makeup, hair routine, all of the above. Um, this morning we are heading to our mommy and me workout, so please excuse the half death rolled over look that we've got going on here. Um, it, we leave pretty early, <laughs> so we have about an hour drive. So I get up, just throw my hair together, get some workout clothes on, get Hazel dressed, and we are out the door as quick as we possibly can so we're not late, which we usually are. But sit tight, and we're gonna go through this fun together. If you are new here, please make sure that you subscribe and like this video. We would be so happy to have you join our Fasori fam. Also, we have a giveaway going. So for every 100 subscribers that we get, I am giving away money for my online boutique. So whether it is for a friend, yourself, your wife, whatever you want, um, we are gonna give away one lucky winner some money to use on some new clothes. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment below once you subscribe so we know that you're here. We're so happy to have you and thanks for joining us. husband always gives me the hardest time about this. Does anybody else always smell the cup <laughs> before they use it? I literally do it every time. Even if I have just taken out of the dishwasher, I feel the need to smell it before I use it. I'm paranoid. I don't know why nothing bad's ever happened to me <laughs> in that area, but I feel the need to smell everything. Are you also like that or am I alone in this craziness? <laughs> Get yourself these ranch corn nuts. They are so stinking good and the best snack. Most of the time, we're just taking videos of our views here at workout, but I love these mornings with her. They're so fun, and she's been so good. I'll cherish these moments forever. So baby, we should start living now. Cause we only have this life. Current Bath and Body Works obsession. It smells so good and very fall, but still nice and fresh and clean. Before we get into this, I would just like to add: if you are a professional hairstylist, professional makeup artist, please just don't watch this video because you will probably cringe more than more than you should. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure I don't do a lot of things right, and I'm sure what I'm doing is really bad for my hair and my skin. But it works for me. <laughs> And um, I've had a lot of questions on how I do everything, so please don't judge me. I know it's all wrong, so wrong, but just sit tight, okay? <laughs> so I wash my hair about once or twice a week, and then I just use my blow dry brush because my hair dries like in the most like crimpiest, weirdest way. 
So I just use this after getting in the shower so it's nice and straight because I usually have my hair curled and this just gives like a nice, you know, base for doing that. And then I'm going to just section off into three sections that makes it easier to curl. All that I do is I just try to take bigger chunks um, and I use my straightener and my I feel like my key is leaving the tail end out of the straightener so I don't curl the bottom pieces this kind of helps me create like that wave look instead of like a ringlet look um, so it's not as you know not as tight and this lasts a few days too with my hair obsessed with the new herbal essence like hair oil um, it makes my hair look less frizzy and just adds like that extra little shine which I'm loving and it smells so good too Do you recall when we were young? this is the part like I'm saying if you're a professional makeup artist please don't cringe don't judge me don't hate me <laughs> um, I do some odd things okay but it works for me I will also leave all of the products that I use in the video description just because I know it's probably hard for you to see in the video because um, it goes quick so I'll leave all those below so you can refer to for never seem to lead my mind Ooh, this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some Okay, so for my contour, I kind of blend some different colors just for my skin tone, but I do underneath my cheekbones, my nose bone, underneath my chin, because I have a turkey gobbler, gobbler is what I call it, and then on top of my forehead. Then I just kind of blend all that together. I don't use bronzer, so which I really want to, so if you know how, please hook me up. I cannot figure out for life without looking dirty. Um, but then I just kind of all blend it together, and then I'm going to add the highlighter and then blush before I set it off. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out From the dark The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time I love this setting powder. It's a little bit on the pricey side, at least for me anyways, usually using drugstore makeup. Um, but I sometimes I'll wear makeup to our workouts in the morning because I'll have extra errands to run afterwards. And my makeup literally does not move through the Texas summer heat. Like it stays and I can still wear it like throughout the whole day. It is so amazing. I would highly recommend spending the money on this. Here is something I get asked about a lot so I just go with like a base light color um, and then my key thing for this was adding my darkest color to just the very outsides of my eye and then working it in this is something I literally had to work for forever and even then it still looks like trash okay <laughs> just being honest it literally does not yeah no but I fake it till I make it and it works. So I just keep blending it. Like it looks like such a mess right now. <laughs> but then I add like my little sparkles and then I just blend it out until it looks like I can go out in public with these eyes, okay? <laughs> so blending is the key. I would like scare myself so often just right off the bat because um, 
it was so dark but just keep blending it out you'll get to how you like it and then you can just you know touch it up from there yes i just use eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows like i said please don't judge me just wanna hold you just wanna be with you till we grow old please tell me you'll stay or take me away i want you for myself every single day Jeffree Star and I actually combined two shades because I like an in-between color and I haven't found one that I love just by itself so I use I think it's called Celebrity Nude and then Androgyny I think is the other one so I just combine those two and I love how it turns out I just want to love you, I just want to hold you And the finished look, nothing too crazy, super simple, do the same thing every day. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it helped you out a ton. Um, and we'll see y'all next week at Monday, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you haven't already, to join our giveaway. And we'll see y'all next Monday, bye bye!
No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.